Welcome to a how-to video for Brizzy. I am JP and this is Learn Brizzy. It's a Sunday morning here and I hope that you are doing well and keeping safe wherever you are. Well, it's early morning here and I've got my second cup of coffee and I've come to this shocking realization that I'll be out of coffee after this one. And I am very happy that at least my government hasn't decided to ban coffee the way they have banned many other things during this lockdown. Yep, yep. Let's not talk about that. We're going to cry many a river if we do. Let's look at what we mean by an above and below line for the menu. This is a very common way of expressing how a menu on sites look. And here you can see one already. It's active. And as I hover over these guys, you see the line at the top, which is the above line. And then the one at the bottom, which is, yep, the bottom line. Okay, and then you can navigate through this and you can easily do this within Brizzy. However, I would just mention that this will only work in the Brizzy Pro versions because this is a Pro menu feature. In the free versions, you're going to get the WordPress menu element, which allows you to do a lot, but hey, not this. I'll have to go check though. Maybe I'm speaking here out of turn and maybe it can be done. But as far as I know, this is going to be a Brizzy Pro feature. And it's going to work for both Brizzy Cloud and the Brizzy WordPress plugin. So let's jump into the Brizzy Builder. And here I've got that set up already. So let's go ahead and delete this one. And we bring in a new menu block. So click here and then I'll go here to header. And we choose this one. And then let's go to reorder blocks and we drag that one the top there it is at the top select the menu settings and over here where you see the three lines i'm going to select the menu that i've created which in this case is main menu a lot of nice options here that you can play around with let me just spacing reduce it a little bit but then that's the only thing apart from align it to the right that i will do here to make changes to these menu links click on any of them and then we change topography first. I'm going to make it the same as the rest of this page, which is Playfair Display. And I'll increase it. Well, let's make it 18 so that we can see it better. And the letter spacing, reduce that a little bit to 0 0.5. So, oh, mega menu. But we're not going to look at the mega menu yet, coming later this week. Let's talk about the colors because that's where you're going to be doing all of this. If you click on the colors, you have for your text, you have a background, and then you also have border. What's important to note are the three tags, the labels here on the left. The first one is the view, the default view. The second one is going to be your hover. And then the third one is active. Now, at the time of making this video, these features are available in Brizzy Cloud Pro. They're not yet available completely in the Brizzy WordPress Pro. They are still in beta. But, you know, and I, I think one thing that's more unpredictable than COVID-19 is when things are going to release for Brizzy. So I have no idea when the WordPress final version should come out. The good news is that if it's already working in Brizzy Cloud, I'm pretty sure that maybe within this week, you're going to already have it in Brizzy WordPress. And if you watch this video in the future, you're not even going to understand what I'm talking about because these functions will be there already. We need these three. This is where the big things are going to be happening. So let's, well, the text, color, the background, and then the border. So let's quickly work with the text first. So what I want is currently I have it set to this second style color from the left. And when I want people to hover over it, it has to appear in that pumpkin orange color. So if I click on hover, you're going to see that it is already selected. But what I also want is that the page that I'm currently on, in this case, the home page, that when it is clicked, I want another color. I'm going to put it on orange as well, like this. So let's go back to our default view. You will see it's orange because this is the active page. And as I hover over these guys, they're going to light up like this. Let's save it and go view it so you can see what I'm talking about.
right? And I've got my screen, I think it's at what, 125%, so that's why it's bigger than the builder. And as I hover over it, you see it selects them. And then as I will click on them and that page becomes active like this one, it will remain in this pumpkin orange. Pumpkin patch. Let's go back here. Now, how do we bring in that line? Select any of these guys, click on this one, go again to colors and go to border. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a border line at the top and a border line at the bottom. And we will do that for the active ones and we will do that for hover. So how that will work, let's go to active first. Click here on active and then select the color, which is going to be our pumpkin patch orange. You can see immediately it throws that border around it. And that is set down here in the bottom right hand corner. The size is two pixels and you have with this little link, it means you have four borders. Let's first put it on one. And then we de-link it over here. And as you de-link it, you're going to see it's one, 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 one. We're going to change a few things here, but what I'll do, because I just like things to be neater from the beginning, I'm going to link them and then I'll just select that and make that a zero so we don't have any borders. Now, when I de-link them, I have four zeros. These four values are the different sides and it starts from top, right, bottom, left. Got that? Top, right, bottom, left, clockwise. I'm going to apply one pixel at the top, then tab to the next one, tab to the next one, and one pixel at the bottom and tap, and that's it. You see what we've got there? We've got that one. We don't have it yet for hover, so we have to do the same for hover. So click on that, go to color, click on border, and then hover. I'll delink it here, and I'll do the same. One, Tab, tab, one, and select my color. There we go. As I hover over them, you get the line at the top and the one at the bottom. But this doesn't always look that good. You can see the original one I did, there's a little bit of space between them. Let's go back here, click on it, and then go to settings, and you'll find padding over here. And this padding applies to the container within the menu link. If I grab the top slider here, because currently it's de-linked, grab that and just increase it. And you can see it applies space between the above line and the menu element. Drag it down. And I'm going to give it a value of 10 pixels. So I'll just type in 10. And then I'll tap to the next one and type in 10 for the below line as well. And now we have this effect. Let's update it. Go to the front and see what we've got. Right, so look here. There we go. And that's it, as simple as that. Naturally, you can also choose just to use an above line or a bottom line. So if you don't want that above line, you simply just go back into it, choose the colors, choose the border, First, go to hover and take the above line away. So we put that at zero and we go to active and we do the same. Put that one on zero as well. And we update it, preview, and now we only have the bottom line. Probably need to take some of the padding on the top away as well, if you need a little bit of more space there at the top. Very simple way to put an above line and a bottom line for your menu. And that's all done in the Brizzy Pro version as well as the Brizzy WordPress Pro version. Hope that was useful. Have a nice day and stay safe. This is JP signing off. See you in the next video.